Welcome to another furniture flip. I'm Maggie and this is Vintage Twist Co. Today's video features per French Provincial nightstands. I found these nightstands on Facebook Marketplace for $80. Uh, I think I paid too much but I really wanted to um, try a new new to me kind of paint technique and uh, these were the perfect nightstands for it. I started by cleaning them with Simple Green, removing the hardware, then rinsing and sanding. And since the weather was still nice, I was able to spray the primer on. It's since I've did, done these nightstands, it's a little bit too cold outside now to use my sprayer, which is um, really sad because it's so much quicker and easier to use the sprayer. So now that winter's coming, I will have to do all of my painting by hand inside my dining room. I did three coats of primer and sanded in between each coat, just like a very light sanding. If you like this video, please remember to hit the like button. And if you enjoy this kind of content and you want to see more, then please consider subscribing to my channel. It really, really helps me. I am almost at a thousand subscribers and I am still in shock and I'm super grateful for all of you being here. If you want to support me and my efforts, I have a, an Amazon wish list that will be in the description down below. I also started a Patreon just in case anybody wants to join. That would also be amazing. These night tables were made out of press board, so they had a seam on the tops. So right now I am just using some wood filler to fill in all of the seams and that will kind of make it look more like it's a one solid piece of wood when it's actually not. but. And there's Max again. Say hello to Max. He's my buddy when I'm working outside. I think it's almost time for a new orbital sander. My foam pad that I have on there is not sticking so great anymore. So I'm just sanding the wood filler down to make it nice and smooth on the tops. And then I'm going to spray more primer.
This one top here had some raised areas that I sanded smooth and I'm hoping that the paint will cover them. I'm using Fusion Mineral Paint. Uh, some new colors. Uh, these are really out of my comfort zone, uh, but I really wanted to just go all out and be bold and try something new. And as you can see, it does not look very good to begin with. Uh, I just keep telling myself uh, when I work on pretty much any project, I tell myself to trust the process. So I have an image of what it should look like in my head when it's finally done. And when I take the steps to get there, it doesn't necessarily feel like it's going to end up how I hope and this one especially was like that so I was all kept telling myself that uh, to trust the process. This color that I used took four coats to cover the primer. On the third coat I was getting a little nervous because I still could see primer through but finally the fourth coat covered it.
Okay, so here is my thinking on the feet of these nightstands. These feet are attached. They're, I don't know, they're all like molded together. So they, they don't come off, these little round parts. I'm not sure what it's made of. It seems like plastic. I don't know. So, I can't take these off. And so the back ones, those are the front ones. This is the back ones are like this. They are like stapled in these little plastic feet. I think you can see that. So if I take this off, and then put in one of these tack type feet, it will be higher than this one. Does that make sense? So I'd have to put one in this one, but it's still not going to match because they're different heights, right? So I think I'm going to try and leave these on and put one of these tacks like right through the uh, plastic foot. I'll just bypass the little staple that's in there and I'll just tack a foot right in there. And I'll just tack a foot in this. There's already a hole there so I'll just tack one in there and then hopefully they'll be the same height. So the hole that was already in the front legs was too big, so I got out my uh, industrial strength glue and I just glued them in. These little felt feet, you can buy, um, buy them in bulk off of Amazon and they're fairly inexpensive. I think I got uh, this jar, I think there's 40 of them for like $18. At first I had done some blending on the sides of these nightstands and I decided that I didn't like them and my I asked my daughter's opinion and she said they looked like portals so I painted over them and now they're just plain uh, sides with no, uh, none of the light colored blending like I did on the front. This is what the hardware looked like when I took it off. So I just put them into a pot of half vinegar, half water, and boiled it. This is a time-lapse video of me boiling the hardware. It gets off a lot of the crud that you can't see. I boiled it for only a couple of minutes. It doesn't take very long. And then I just put them in the sink with a barkeeper's friend.
and I scrubbed them really, really well with a toothbrush. They came out really, really nice. And now I'm just going to clean them up even more, make the color more even with uh, my favorite product, uh, Dixie Belle's Gilding Wax. It's a little bit hard to see here on film, but in person, it's there's a pretty big difference. On the left is the side with the gilding wax and the right is without. I decided to put on some stencils. I am not much of a flower person, but like I said before, I am going all out and way out of my comfort zone and just trying something new. I know that this kind of style um, is in demand in my area. People really like it. so. This was the most stressful part of this whole refinishing process because I wasn't applying them onto a flat, smooth surface. There were lots of grooves and divots and I had a really hard time and I thought that I was going to mess it up like so much worse than I actually did. Um, but it, it ended up working out in the end, thank goodness. There are a few areas that it cracked uh, just because I couldn't get it pressed right into the groove all the way. So, but you know what? Uh, it was pretty good for my first try going over a rough surface like that and you can't really tell if you stand back. Just don't look close. This little spot right here did not go on at all. So I just took a little bit of paint and mixed it to a close enough color so you wouldn't notice and I just painted that little area.
And then both of the nightstands got a clear coat, uh, actually two coats of clear coat in a satin finish right over top of the transfers and that helps to preserve the transfers as well. I bought this large brush specifically for large areas of doing a top coat. It's made for a, like deck stain, I think, but it is, the bristles are super soft and gentle and they're like the perfect brush for doing a top coat. It leaves a super smooth finish. Now, guess what? I am adding black wax. I have wanted to try adding black wax to furniture for a long time, and this was the perfect project to add it. And so I'm just pressing it into all of the grooves and all the details, and then I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes just to let it dry a little bit and just slightly harden. And then I'm going to take my rag and I'm going to wipe away in all the areas that I don't want it or I just want like a little bit of the black wax in. And now we're at the end of the video. Thanks for watching guys.